All right, last one, number 14, we're going to graph the following on a polar axis. So this is literally looking at your sine or your sinusoid, yeah, and you're pulling all of these points off of your sinusoid function and graphing them on a polar plane. That's about all you're doing. Um, if you want to find the equation, you look for the midline, which in this case is negative 1. You look for your amplitude, which half of the height of the graph, this whole height of the 6. So from negative 4 to 2 is 6, so half of that is 3. If you start here, you notice that this is the shape of a sine function. So therefore, I know that the equation is negative 1 plus 3 sine theta. I could go ahead now and plug that in my calculator and get the points, or I really can just evaluate them straight from this graph. So at negative 1, um, at um, the, the value of 0, um, negative 1, that's going to be radius of 0 and out negative 1, excuse me, angle of 0 and out um, negative 1. So 0, negative 1 puts me here. Graph it on up around, and again at 90 degrees, it's back, um, excuse me, it actually graphs from this direction. So you now go negative uh, 1, 